Hello, uh, in this video I want to talk about uh, my first generation build. I'm uh, always updating, updating and uh, making a video about uh, the parts and uh, yeah, about the parts and uh, the things that I put in this computer for the past uh, year or something like that. Uh, so here it is. Currently, it's not really a home theater PC, which I plan to make it as. It has a regular uh, mid tower case. I don't. It's the uh, Antec uh, NX200, I think. And uh, the reason why I didn't get like an HTPC case right away, uh, it's because uh, like I didn't find any in the right price, any in any right price for me to buy it in. But uh, right now I have the ability to uh, get uh, an HTPC case, a Silverstone GD09, I think it was. Um, but um, yeah, so this is why I'm making this video. I, there will be changes to the, to the build soon, and I just wanted to update you. I might even uh, film how I replace the case, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, here it is. That's the way it is right now. And well, inside the case, it's you can't really see inside. But I have like um, a Core i7 920, um, a gigabyte uh, X58 UDR3. That's the motherboard. Um, I have 24 gigs of RAM, four sticks each, and six slots. Um, I have just a simple graphics card. Oh, I guess you can see it inside right now a little bit. Yeah, it's just a simple graphics card. I just bought it for because you don't get like integrated uh, GPU or anything like that. So I just had to buy just the, sim the, the most simple graphics card I could get my hands on. It cost me like, I don't know, 10 bucks or some shit like that. But yeah, it's just so I could get a video out there. Um, the power supply is a uh, CX 450 watts from Crosshair. And um, yeah, I have some case fans, just simple case fans over there. And uh, yeah, the case, as I, as I told you, it's an Antec uh, NX200. <clears throat> yeah, the cooler over there. It's an Antec C40. I will re I will be replacing it too, but uh, we we will just have to see. I'm going to find out uh, if I could buy that in uh, a few days. And uh, let me just show you <clears throat> what what kind of cases I'm going to uh, I might purchase. Okay, so this is the the fractal design 60605. Uh, I might get this case. This is like what I want to go with. This is the first priority for me to to buy. I would like to get this case. You could like install a slim DVD ROM DVD drive over there if you're using a micro ATX, which I will not be using, so I won't be able to utilize this feature. You have a, a firewire connector over here, a microphone jack, and you have an audio jack. You have uh, two USB 3.0. You have a card reader, which is very, very nice. And uh, you have an HDD LED right here. Show your hard drive activities and all that. And the power, power LED is integrated inside the power button over here. Uh, what I really like about about this case, let me, you get a fan controller inside inside of it. So over here, you can see that you get like a fan controller inside. You could like hook up uh, up to three fans in there. Let's look inside of the case. It looks spacious, like you can uh, 
the cable management is not going to be that great, but you can work around it. The most important thing is not to have uh, cables around the motherboard. So yeah, I will have to find out if I can make a purchase to buy this case, which I hope I could buy this one because I really like it. But if I can get this case, there is another option, which is the Silverstone GD09. And there it is. Positive air pressure, design, excellent filming, quietness, dust prevention. This is all the features laid out. It supports expansion cards up to 12 inches, which is 309 millimeter. It supports ATX motherboards. This is what I need. A quick access filter is included. Incredible 358 millimeter depths to fit comfortably inside home theater cabinet. Drive cages with multi-purpose mounts eliminate needs of, for adapters. So this is great, great features. We have everything that we need in this case, and uh, of course you have uh, the opportunity to put an optical drive in here too. But there are a few configurations that must be made. So over here you got seven expansion slot PCIe expansion expansion slots. You have two USB threes with uh, audio audio jack and microphone jack won't be needing those but it's all right it's nice to have um yeah you got some hi-fi grade case geek positive air pressure design for excellent cooling filtered intake vent independent graphics card vent nice that's very nice to have of course it would have been would have been better if they included a dust filter for this but it's all right and we have the specifications here I mean this is pretty nice it's a very nice case and here are some more pictures for this case and it looks really really nice and you can uh, screw it into a, a rack or something like that if you didn't want it to stay in place I won't be needing that it's a nice feature though <clears throat> and some more pictures of the case um, but yeah I hope I could go with the node 605 but that's alright basically this is the case the Silverstone GD09 and uh, I could get either that one or the fractal design which I really hope I could get because they're both very nice and uh, it was a hard decision first but I knew that I wanted to get the fractal design simply because it has more features for example it has the fan controller which is gonna be really useful for the two fans from like you have a room for uh, two fans in the rear like uh, 80 millimeter so basically I just uh, showed you the options for the cases that I'm going to go and I might go with and uh, I have to uh, see like if I could get the Node 605 or the Silverstone GD09 GD and uh, by uh, September 2nd I'm going to make a purchase, I'm going to buy a case and uh, I will update you about which case I've got and which case we're going to go with. And uh, as I said, I might like show the hardware installation on one of these cases. Uh, and of course, I'm going to show you how uh, I'm going to be able to control the the two 80 millimeter fans, which are going to be quite noisy. But that's why I want to be able to control them. So I even bought I even uh, bought like a fan controller that connects through a PCI Express. And it has like this uh, little knob from behind. I will film that too. I will let you see what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, and we'll finally be gonna be able to turn this computer into a, a legit home theater PC, which uh, was a long time coming. And I should have done that when I bought it, when I made the build, when I first made the build back in January. But it's okay. I mean, Everything happens for a reason. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it should have been that way. Um, 
but yeah, I can't wait to start building that and uh, have that case. It's super nice, the Node 605. I wish I could get that one, but uh, we'll just have to see what's going to happen. And uh, I will update you soon about that. Stay tuned.